dear learners welcome to the course advanced communication laboratory in this video i will explain the experiment study of dc characteristics of photodiode what is the basic function of photodiode photodiode is used to convert incident optical signal into electrical current so here i consider photodiode module 1 meter optical fiber optical source an optical power meter and multimeter these are the necessary equipments to do the experiment we are going to study the characteristics of photodiode under three different conditions zero bias forward bias and reverse bias condition under zero bias conditions first we keep the switches in zero bias position and also we should ensure that the knob should be at minimum position now we are connecting optical fiber to the photodiode and the optical source so before uh, uh, connecting this optical fiber to the module we have to check the level of optical power it is minus 71.8 it is in dbm so we convert this dbm into milliwatts with the help of this numerical expression 10 power p by 10 then after giving this optical uh, power to the module we have to measure the voltage across the resistance rl here we are connecting ex resistance externally to the point 1 mega ohm resistance is connected now we measure the voltage across this resistance it is 0.28 value is 0. vl is 0.28 from this we can calculate the i z i z is current flowing under zero bias conditions it is calculated by vl by r vl divided by 1 mega ohm we, we can calculate the current the next reading we adjust the uh, knob of the optical power so and then we measure the value it is approximately 70 it is minus 70 so again we measure so across the bn we measure the voltage it is approximately equal to 0.01 0.01 so in this way we repeat the procedure to take uh, five or six readings uh, before giving the optical input to the photodiode we have to measure the power so power with the help of the power meter and after taking the readings vl and we calculate i z then we plot the vi characteristics of photodiode under zero bias condition and this is the pa characteristics so power in milliwatts and the current flowing under zero bias condition this is the pa characteristics of zero bias condition next one is photodiode under forward bias condition forward bias configuration here we are going to connect with rl as 10 kilo ohm 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected across this point in the photodiode module
So in the forward bias configuration and the reverse bias configuration, there are two observation table. Uh, one is uh, in the first table, we adjust the uh, power source. That means we are going to take the various uh, values of uh, power. We will uh, measure the VL and the current flowing through the photodiode IF. And in the second table, we adjust the bias voltage and we will uh, uh, find the voltage across the point. So VL. Uh, these two uh, observations will be taken in the forward bias configuration. So in the forward bias configuration, we should uh, change the switches in the forward bias. Now it is in forward bias position. Uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected across these points. Now we are going to measure the voltage across this VL. First, uh, power sources power is measured it is minus 75 before uh, giving the optical source we measure the power source here it is minus 70 minus 71.4 sub the 71.4 so at this time uh, we take the V bias is, a, is kept constant so we convert this uh, dBm into milliwatts and we measure VL across this now this VL is 0.16 so again, now the forward current IF is calculated by VL by R. Okay, so in this way we repeat the procedure, uh, we take uh, 5 or 6 readings. Uh, then we plot the PA characteristics. And in the VA characteristics, uh, power is kept constant. And we are going to uh, uh, take the uh, VA forward voltage with respect to the various bias voltage. The bias voltage is measured across uh, these two points. We adjust the knob and set the value V bias. Now the V bias is setting us uh, 0 0.6. 0 0.6 volts. The voltage is 0 0.31. 0 0.31. So from this we calculate the forward current. Forward current. It is V1 divided by 10 kilo ohm. So this is the method to measure voltage across uh, these points. So now we uh, vary the V bias so, and we can find the current flowing through the photodiode under forward bias conditions. Okay, here we give the power source, it is kept constant. So this electrical uh, um, signal, uh, electrical current is obtained through this photodiode for the incident optical signal. So here the photodiode absorbed the pot photons and they are converted into the electrical current. Next condition is reverse bias configuration. The reverse bias configuration so also we connect uh, this is the configuration reverse bias configuration in this uh, configuration also we connect R is equal to 10 kilo ohm the same method uh, here also first uh, we uh, keep the voltage as a constant and adjust the uh, power before giving to the optical uh, power source we measure it and also we should keep the switches in reverse bias condition 
in the previous case uh, we change uh, we keep the position in uh, forward bias and the zero bias but for this case we uh, switch the switch into uh, reverse bias condition so we adjust the power value and measure bl across these two points and uh, from this we find the reverse current This is minus seventy one seventy minus seventy point two. First reading is minus seventy point two. So we convert this dBm into milliwatts, and we measure the voltage across these two points. is very less 0 0.01 so repeat the same steps in 5 or 6 times so we will get a set of readings from this we can plot the graph PA character 6 under reverse bias condition and Next one is VA character 6. In the VA character 6, power is kept constant. Uh, as I said earlier, for the forward bias configuration, power is uh, kept constant. We give the bias voltage. Adjust the bias voltage. We measure the various values of the uh, reverse voltage across this point. And we calculate the reverse current IR in milliamps. The bias voltage is setting as 0 0.68, 0 0.68. Correspondingly, the voltage across this point is 0 0.01. From this, we calculate the reverse current flowing through the photodiode. So, after uh, taking readings, we can plot the VA character 6 of the photodiode and a reverse bias configuration. I hope you would understand the experiment very well. Thank you.